Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the introduction to SHA-512 algorithm, Secure Hash Algorithm 512. Why it got 512 means uh, it is going to give you a message digest of length 512. That's why it is named as SHA-512. So before this is our first cryptography hash function algorithm which we are going to discuss before this there are so many algorithms SHA-256, SHA-128 and before that we are having MD-128, message digest-128 like this so many algorithms are there in order to overcome they overcome all the flaws the problems that we had in our previous logics and they overcome all those and they design this SHA-512. In our today's latest situations and today's situations, we are going to use this SHA-512 algorithm for message integrity. So this is very, very big concept to understand. So slowly in multiple videos, we are going to understand the concept step by step. And the point you need to understand the cryptographic hash functions means the message integrity is provided. The message will be of variable length size. For this variable length size message, by considering this complete message, we have to generate a message digest. This is what we need to do. Means this variable length message should be sent into the hash function means something happens inside this hash function and it is going to generate a message digest of 512 bits length. But think about it in our previous classes when we discussed about AES. Whatever the logic we applied on in AES, is that on fixed length size or variable length size? It applied on fixed length size. We divided our message into blocks and each block is encrypted that is, that is what happened similarly writing a logic on variable length message in this hash function is very very difficult we don't know which length we are going to get so that's why that's why our message variable length message should be divided into blocks and one more point you need to understand here, the message digest should be completely dependent on the entire message. So for that reason, they, they generated this hash function algorithm based on iterative method. So what is meant by iterative process, how it will be, we will have an overview of that iterative process in this class and coming classes we are going to go deep into the concept. So hope you understand why message should be divided into fixed size blocks of size 1024. Here in SHA-512 we are going to use 1024 size bit, bit blocks. And we are going to do iterative process. Now let's try to understand what iterative process means. Our entire message is divided into blocks of size 1024, 1024 like the 1024. And this entire message should be involved in providing the message digest. So that's why we take the first block and the first block output should be involved with the second block. And the second block output will be involved in the third block. That is what iterative process means. So take the first block, 1024 bits, that sent into the compression function. Compression function means hash function. So something happens inside this and it is going to generate a output of 512. So along with this input 1024, we are going to take the first, the first block is going to take some initial value. This is a constant value. What initial value? We have to consider that we are going to understand in our coming classes. So we are going to take an initial value of 512 bits. This 512 is taken as input to the compression function. So two inputs we have 1024 bit and 512 bit. By taking those two bits, two blocks as input to the compression function, it is going to generate an output of 512 bits. But this is not considered as a message digest because the second part also involved in it should be involved in the message digest because based on the complete message, 
we have to generate the message digest. So the output which we got here in the first block is taken as input to the second block and second block input is considered com compression function. Again, you are going to get 512 bits. This is taken in the next, next like that the last block. Whatever the output you got in this last block, we call this as a message digest. So this is how the overview of how the cryptography hash function, we sometimes we call it as compression function. It looks like. And the point you need to understand the first in our next class, what we are going to discuss is, uh, see here in the last block, is it definitely it is going to divide the message into the size of 1024? In the last block, it may be 1023 bits and it may be 512 bits like that. So what we have to do, how the padding bits will be added how the length of the message will be identified. All those things will be discussed in our next class. After that, we go deeper into the concept of what happens inside the compression function and all, the, all of them step by step. Hope you got the clarity on why this cryptography hash functions follow iterative process and fixed size blocks. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.